Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I'm super excited to share a project with you for Pretty Pink Posh. Today's project is actually part of a blog hop that Pretty Pink Posh is having. They're celebrating their brand new fall release for September. And so there's lots of inspiration over at the Pretty Pink Posh blog. I'll list their blog and my blog down below if you guys want to start at the beginning. Um, but there's tons of inspiration and the, the release is fabulous. You guys are going to love it. But today we're going to create a project using three items from the release. We have the fall circle stamp set and then the coordinating die. And then there's a brand new standalone die set that I think you guys are going to love because I fell in love with it. So this is the fall foliage die set. It's large. But there's leaves in here that are great for fall. Um, and then there's some branches that have berries, but it's layering. So you can actually layer the berries, which is nice. There's two of those. And then there's a flower that you could layer. So you die cut out with green cardstock, layer with a colored, and then you have your flower. That's really nice. And then there's beautiful foliages that are perfect size. And then there's some mushrooms in there too. <laughs> now this is the fall circle stamp set. You know, Pretty Pink Posh comes out with a circle stamp set with the coordinating die. And I love these because the dies are kind of like stash builders. <laughs> it's not just great for the circles. I think it's great for backgrounds or sentiments and so we're going to be using all of these today. I'm going to use the sunflower circle in the stamp set and I thought it'd be fun to create a border with this. Um, you could probably do this with a few of the images in the stamp set. Even the turkey I think would look really cute. But to create my border I think it's eas easier for me to space them if I do the corners first. So I'm going to stamp the sunflower with memento ink in each one of my corners. And as I'm twisting and turning, the backside of my paper is getting inky, but I'm not too worried about that because we're going to adhere that to our card base. But stamp all four corners and I'm pretty sure I can stamp one solid um, circle in, the, in between the corners. Um, I'm not stamping the whole circle only because I don't want the branches. I just want basically the sunflower. So I'll do the other side and I think I can get two of these on the left and right of our panel here. Um, I might have to overlap the circle portions so it looks like they're um, linked together. Um, I don't mind doing that. I think it kind of creates a nice little pattern. <laughs> and yeah, we fit two in there good. And I am I have ink on my hands and I don't know how I, I think it's from my craft mat. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better to stamp on paper. Craft mat seems to float the ink. Whereas if I were to stamp on scratch paper, it would absorb. <laughs> so that's a little heads up but I stamp my border and then I'm going to stamp my circle on a separate piece of cardstock and we're going to die cut that out. Now I'm just going to color in the circle and then I'll list the colors for you guys and then um, and then off camera I'll color in with those same colors my border and I'm going to I brought in my sand eraser. I probably don't need it because we're going to cover that center with our coordinating die but just in case. <laughs> Now I, I, I want to do some warm oranges and I think this is, or warm yellows and I think this is just a little bit too orangey. So we're going to do a redo. I'm going to grab some more cardstock and just re-stamp it and I'm going to go in with a lighter color. I'm going to use Y23 to color my entire um, sunflower. But as I color, pretty basic coloring, I'm going to play a little music and then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back.
coloring is all good to go and I use, use my sand eraser to get that ink smudge off which is good. <laughs> now we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. I'm going to go ahead and take the coordinating die. We're going to separate it. That circle fits our circle sunflower beautifully. We'll just nip these. And there's some sharp edges. You guys be careful if you, if you get these um, when you clip those. Um, I put them in a towel when I actually nip them apart. That way the leftover pieces I can pick up with a magnet. I'm going to go ahead and die cut out the background panel with white cardstock and we're going to do a little bit of die cutting with the fall foliage um, die set. I have the berries and then I have a long leaf foliage and then I'm going to take, this is the berry branch I should say, I'm going to go ahead and die, take the berries too. So those are the three elements we're going to use for our card. Um, our berry branch we're going to die cut out with blue cardstock. Our berries we're going to die cut out with the white here. And then I'm going to bring in some dark brown, some almost like a mocha brown um, cardstock for my leaf foliage. I think these colors go really well together. Ran everything through my die cut machine, so we are good to go. We're going to go ahead and build our berries. Um, they, it's nice because the berry, it, it cuts all the berries out at one time. So we're just going to add dots of glue and they're all the same size too. So although the pattern of the berries when you die cut matches the pattern um, of the berry branches. So that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and just use my jewel picker upper here and add my white berries. And then once we have our second branch done, we're going to go ahead and take our background panel. We're going to adhere that to an A2 size card base. Um, I'm not sure if I want a portrait or a landscape, so we're going to play around with the placement before we commit to it. I'm going to add a little bit of color around my, my decorative background here using some Distress Oxide ink. This is Salvage Patina. I haven't used this one. I don't think I've used this one yet. Um, but I think it goes really well um, with the sunflowers. Love this color. Okay, I have just a little bit. Um, I have a piece of vellum. It's about a one and a quarter inch strip that I fishtailed the ends on the left and right. I fishtailed it so it's just barely overhanging. This way it'll still fit on a um, portrait style card. We adhered that. Now we're gonna add our brown branches or brown foliage. We're going to pop up our sunflower, put that right in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some foam squares behind it, but I'll go ahead and add my berries along with it. Now, before I commit to my placement, I did want to add some shimmer and shine. <laughs> so I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Jewels. I'm putting them uh, smaller ones over my berries just for a little added dimension. I love the way this turned out. It's real sparkly. And then for the center of my sunflower, I added glossy accents and then added some small jewels to it. Um, maybe in the close-ups you'll be able to see it, but it adds really neat dimension and I was happy with that. I opted for a landscape style card, so we're going to go ahead and pop up our panel, put that in the center, and then that finishes my card today, guys. I hope you can join us for the blog hop. I think you're going to be really inspired and I think you're going to love this brand new release. Thanks for joining me. Have a fabulous day and we will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.